Hi thinkers, welcome to the object oriented design course on ThinkX Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to study about the abstract factory pattern, which is just an extended feature of the factory method pattern, which we have studied in the previous tutorial of this course. So I will first, uh, the first requirement of this tutorial is that you should cover that course. So uh, we have taken the same example from the previous tutorial, which is the factory pattern tutorial. I'll give the link to that in the description of this video also, and you can see that in the I button here also. So first uh, just go through that and then you will be able to understand what we are trying to do here. So in the previous tutorial, we studied about a very simple example of class apple and uh, we st uh, studied that there is a class factory. So there can be multiple factories, like there can be a uh, apple factory in the us we are calling it as a us factory then we can have a china factory and these two are actually subclasses of this factory class and you can see that it extends the feature of this uh, factory class and here you can see i have the iphone uh, which is the order iphone function which actually uh, creates uh, which actually passes and returns the iphone object to the uh, to this class right so we can create an object of this factory factory equals to new us factory so when I'm trying to do that, I'm actually trying to override this create iPhone function. So in this line right here, you can see I'm actually calling factory dot create iPhone. So create iPhone function will be called uh, from this class, which is here because we are overriding um, this. Uh, uh, we are overriding the super class, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to actually create a uh, make sure that we uh, decouple the object creation part to another factory class so we can see here that now here i have a function so now this class is responsible for returning the objects by using the new operator so you can see we have a new operator here and this is actually returning this object new iphone right so if a customer wants uh, iphone 12 this is going to return an iphone 12 components and now we can assemble those components and we can return the object right so this was something which we have done before now uh, an important part here is if you uh, quickly observe this factory object here which is right here you will observe that i can use this object to call any other function which are there in the us factory right so let's say the us factory has some more functions like let's say this factory also has uh, a function which is create macbook create ipad so in that case this factory object will can actually call those functions as well so you can see that i can just call uh, let's say we have a create macbook function so i can just call the macbook here which is actually bad because we want abstraction here, right? We don't want this factory object to call the uh, create MacBook. We only want it to create iPhone, right? Uh, so you can see in the return type also, we want it to return an iPhone, not a MacBook, right? So we need to make sure that this factory object of this class US factory does not allow the uh, or the access to all the functions and behaviors inside of this factory and we've already seen that we have covered that in dependency inversion principle uh, we have already covered that whenever we have such type of uh, tight coupling between the different classes so what we can just do is instead of using inheritance we can use abstraction so instead of extending the features of this factory class i can i'm going to write implement so this class us factory will implement this factory class and this class china factory will also implement this factory class now what happened is you can see that this factory has only one function which is create iphone function and we are going to pass uh, since this us factory is implementing this factory then this is the override uh, statement so what we are going to do is we need to override the create iphone function from here because we are implementing the class factory right so since we have now passed uh, instead of inheritance now we are using abstract class so you can see that this factory is actually now an interface so i'm going to write that this is now an interface or we can say that this is actually an abstract factory right and thus the name abstract factory pattern so uh, we have converted this factory as an interface and this class is now actually implementing this interface by overriding this create iphone function right so what will happen if i uh, try to call create macbook function which is let's say is defined in this class us factory somewhat here right so if i define the uh, create macbook function here this factory object will not be able to access it the reason being here you can see that factory factory equals to new uh, us factory is actually uh, you can see factory is actually an interface so here it is a reference to interface so i'm going to write here it is a reference to interface because now we have converted our factory class which is here into an interface right so this means that we are only giving the object of factory the access to only access the create iphone function and not other functions and we have seen that this is actually dependency inversion because we have inverted the dependency of uh, accessing the object and the behavior 
to an abstract class right to to, to this abstraction right so similarly you can see that factory dot create iphone function will be called which this class this factory is implementing from the factory right so that was the only thing that we need to do in order to convert a factory uh, pattern into an abstract factory uh, instead of uh, passing the whole factory class we are going to convert it into an interface and these are going to implement this interface so china factory will also implement this interface and since here this line is very important which is this one in this line we are actually creating a, a reference to the interface but we are creating an object of us factory so if i try to take the reference of this factory class i can only access the iphone function right so now i have the uh, iphone function and i will return this iphone function so this will return the new iphone 12 and if you make a call to this one it is not going to work right so this is how we do abstraction and also lose coupling right so uh, you can see that our code is now loosely coupled because it does not depend on the factory class right it depends on an interface on the implementation and the implementation is provided by this class so uh, you can consider this one as a low level module right so now you can see that this low level module is now dependent on the interface on abstract class and you can consider this one as a high level module so you can consider this one as a high level module and you can see that this high level module is also dependent on uh, the interface which is the factory interface right so this is actually a reference to interface so we can see that both the high level modules and low level modules are actually now dependent on abstract class so this is the dependency inversion principle which says that high level modules and low level modules should not depend on each other rather they should depend on the uh, interfaces right so that's all for this tutorial we'll see you in the next tutorial where we will discuss the another creational pattern so thanks for watching